What's up everyone, Wu Bo here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about using a sleeve brace versus a rigid knee brace when it comes to your chronic knee pain. On this channel, we talk about various topics about healthcare, technology, and how you can use those to improve your life. And sometimes in circumstances, we talk about comparing products like knee braces. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. For all my returning subscribers out there, like Shalomo Vlogs, I see you and thank you so much for your support. Now, before I get into today's topic of the video, I recently released some videos talking about why knee braces don't work to treat your pain, as well as how to properly don your braces. I'll post a link right here above to help you. So go back and watch those if you are having this kind of issue. But in this video, we're gonna talk about why you would wanna choose a knee sleeve or a rigid brace when it comes to your chronic knee pain. Because these braces, depending on the chronic knee pain that you have, is going to treat your limb very differently and gonna relieve pain. So you wanna make sure you choose the right one. So let's first get into the design of both of these products. The sleeve brace is a go-to option for almost anybody out there. It's typically the item you find in Walmarts, department stores, sporting goods stores, when it comes to those who are trying to treat their knee pain. And for some doctors, they actually recommend it so you have something to use during your activity. It's easy to don, it's easy to doff. You can hide it underneath your clothing easier. It fits a little bit intimately against your skin and it's easy to wash and easy to clean. In most circumstances, you can just take the item, throw it inside our washing machine and clean it and throw it inside a dryer to dry it off. You don't have to air dry it. So it's very easy to use. Unfortunately, because it's uh, a little flimsy and it's mostly fabric, uh, it doesn't provide a lot of support. Yes, you can get a lot of items uh, out there that have these little metal or plastic stays around the side of your leg, on the outside and inside of your leg to give some support but it is really not designed to kind of super align your knee depending on the activity you're using. So if you're a runner or if you are a high impact uh, person who's doing high impact activities, um, uh, cross training, things like that, uh, this may or may not work for you depending on what's going on with your needs. The key factor is you wanna know what's going on with your knee before you buy any of these things. But the design of a sleeve brace is very ideal for most people out there because not everyone wants people to see that they're wearing a knee brace. Now the rigid brace on the other hand is bulkier. It's a little bit more rigid, it has a lot more straps on it, and it's a little bit more cumbersome. Uh, that is the sacrifice of the device itself. In most circumstances, if you have osteoarthritis or if you have something that needs to uh, align your knee a little bit better, uh, during your everyday walking or even exercising, you typically have to go with something a little bit more rigid to give you that support. Uh, the design of it is not the prettiest. Unfortunately, it's not easy to fit inside of underneath clothing. Most people wear on the outside of their clothing. Uh, a lot of the rigidity, the metal or the plastics on the outside can be prone to wearing your clothing or tearing your clothing. It's something that you wanna keep in mind, but the design of this one is something you wanna keep in mind when it comes to choosing your options and when it comes to the outcomes that you're looking for. Unlike the sleeve option, the rigid knee brace has these replaceable straps. So if it does get dirty or it wears, it's very easy for you to replace the straps only without having to replace the entire brace. When it comes to the sleeve brace, if it gets dirty or torn, you most likely have to replace the entire thing and go buy a new brace. So those are the benefits of at least the rigid brace versus the sleeve brace. Both of them are really great options, really good designs. Uh, depending on the outcomes, once again, of your chronic knee pain and what's causing it, you wanna lean to whichever one is gonna give you the best relief. But both of these designs, I think is the most streamlined options out there without getting too bulky and uh, will help you best choose the option for you. Next, let's jump into the function of these devices. The knee sleeve itself is really there to provide compression to your lower limb. It, in most circumstances, if you have inflammation or swelling, or if you have a, uh, if you have a kneecap that is moving excessively, a compressed knee sleeve is going to squeeze your limb and provide you the best outcomes for something like that. It will isolate your kneecap, the compression will kind of help relieve some of that inflammation. It's almost equivalent to using an ACE bandage wrap and kind of give you that compression uh, throughout your everyday walking. 
the problem with wearing some kind of uh, device like this is that it's not ideal for people who have uh, abnormally different uh, size legs. If you have big thighs, small uh, calf, or big calf, small thighs, it could be really difficult to wear something like this because the stays or the, um, the metal or any plastics that's in it can easily dig into your skin and there's not a lot of room for adjustment. So, you, so when it comes to fitting something like this, you wanna make sure that your measurements are really good and if it doesn't work out for you, you're most likely gonna to have to look for a custom design brace or maybe a more rigid brace that's a little bit bulkier. Now, when it comes to the rigid style brace with this brace I'm showing you right here, this one's more designed for osteoarthritis. So if you're someone who's living with OA and it's affecting your knee on the medial lateral side, uh, that's medical jargon for the outside of your leg or the inside of your leg, a sleeve is not gonna provide you the support that you need. Uh, a brace like this is gonna try to give you a three-point pressure system. It's gonna help offload or relieve your knee when you're walking and help relieve a lot of your pain. But as you can see, the sacrifice in this is a much bulkier design. It's very rigid. It's not easily able to be hidden inside of clothing. But if you're choosing a brace just because of the style of the brace or just because it's something you wanna hide, then you're getting away from the medical reason why you wanna wear it. Your overall goal is pain relief. And something rigid like this or similar like this is gonna be closer to providing you the support that you need every single day. So if you're dealing with some kind of chronic knee pain, rigid is really almost a, a better way to go over the sleeve in my opinion. Overall, I will always lean towards custom design. Custom design braces are gonna fit your leg perfectly. It's gonna give you the most optimum uh, fitting and pain relief but those are very expensive. If you like the information I'm sharing with you so far, please hit that like button below that helps support the page. And we continue right into the next topic where we talk about value and cost. Now, when it comes to these two knee brace designs, most likely the most expensive ones you're going to pay for is gonna be the most rigid and the most bulkiest one. And uh, those are tend to be the most expensive. That's why I think a lot of people lean towards the sleeve design because it's a cheaper alternative and it's at least something. Some brace is better than no brace, right? Well, that really depends on the outcomes of what's going on with your knee. If you wear the wrong brace, you could potentially cause more pain to your knee or cause your condition to get worse. And if your condition gets worse, then you just wasted your money. So when it comes to the value of these things, I highly recommend that you don't focus on the cost of the item if you can avoid it and really focus on what that brace is trying to do for you. The sleeve brace, once again, as I discussed earlier, it provides compressive treatment. It's similar to an ace bandage wrap. It can help if you have some dislocation of your kneecap or if your kneecap moves excessively. It's really good for runners with just mild pain. But outside of that, if you're dealing with osteoarthritis, if you're dealing with chronic pain bone on bone, you're definitely gonna to wanna to lean towards a rigid brace, something that's gonna offload your knee, something that's gonna be stable and hard and uh, allow you to continue with your everyday activity. So that's it, everyone. That is the difference between a sleeve brace and a rigid knee brace. Depending on the outcomes of what's going on with your knee, I hope some of this information helps you make the final decision when it comes to you purchasing these items. I highly recommend that you always speak to a medical professional before you spend any of your money because that's gonna help guide you to the right product. You can reach out to your primary care doctor. I highly recommend you reach out to an orthotist or an orthopedic doctor because they know a little bit more about the bracing and what would be best for you. But overall, choose the right brace for you. Make sure that you're using something that's help relieving your pain and not causing your condition to get worse. If you like this video, again, hit the like button below and hit that subscribe button below to help support the page. I make a few more videos over here that I share with people out there that maybe you would like. So definitely check those out. I thank you all for your time and thank you for your support. I'll see you next time.